Hi guys, it's Katy here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video we are gonna be propagating the bees that you see next to me. This is my philandering gloriosum that has overgrown its pot. It's due to be repotted and I've decided that I'm gonna propagate it and kind of restart the plant just because it has started pushing those big leaves and I would appreciate a plant with bigger leaves. So we are gonna be propagating one of the plants that you see here. Uh, you can kind of see the whole plant here. There is one big main plant which has a very long stem which is crawling on top of the soil and as you can see it's already poking out and we're gonna be making one leaf cutting. There's also a smaller plant here that we're gonna keep alone. It should continue to grow because it's not big enough to be propagated. So I will be making one or two leaf cuttings. Depends how long the internodes are and we are going to be potting them up into their separate pots. So this is the plan for today and I will be taking you with me. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. We are going to turn it around and kind of just cut it up first and then try to remove it from the pot. Here is the situation up close. You can see there is a top cutting. I will be cutting it like this just because this part you kind of want to keep it with a top cutting. It's kind of less likely to survive on its own. So I'm going to make a cut here and then here, here, here. We're going to see with this area because nodes are really close together. For the tools, I am using a sharp razor blade as a classic and some alcohol to disinfect it. Now let's get cutting. It does have some roots. Um, I'm debating if I put this... Oh, why is it rotting? Okay, we're gonna put it in water. Number two with a bunch of roots. Okay, I like that. Okay, number three, which kind of won't go out. I may need to get, I get a glove so I can dig in. This is way better rooted than I anticipated. Oops. Sacrifices you got to make. Ooh, those are long and nice roots. This is the cutting that we have. I think there are gonna be a lot of dead roots. This is smaller leaf, but still pretty. Then there's a guy that has no roots for no reason whatsoever. Yes, I'm gonna propagate it in water for a little while. Then we have a two leaf cutting. Oh no, it's a three leaf cutting. <gasps> Probably not my best work. Probably not. Yeah, okay, that petiole is a goner. Good job, happens. So this is a smaller gloriosum. It's actually a pink back one. You can see the new leaf is kind of pink, but it gets pinker. Ooh. Ah, it has some nice roots because at the time I all I did was propagate the top cutting and just put it into. This one is staying. Okay, we did it. So then we have a two leaf cutting, which is pretty, with very many roots, which is nice. Oh, I can cut this in two. I like that. Should I? Of course, of course I should. Okay, so welcome to the mess. Let me give you an overview of everything that we have right now. So this is uh, what's left of the mother plant. It's a base cutting. I'll probably keep this just because the amount of roots it has is a lot. And um, this is the leaf that I broke or cut through. One leaf cutting with roots. And okay, there is another leaf cutting, which also has a decent root system. And 
This is the Gloriosa one that I showed you before. I'm keeping this one just because it is really nice. I might put it in my room. Top cutting, which is huge and it's gonna be in water probably. This is the cutting that has no roots, which will also go in water. Here is another one leaf cutting with decent roots. And then we have two of the big ones. These are so pretty, I kind of want to keep those for myself, but I think not. Now I need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. Pot up those cuttings just because I will be mainly selling them. Yeah, I guess we'll take it from there. All right, I am done potting them up. Here's the situation. There are three kind of similar sized cuttings. Those three boys and then we have this is the pink gloriosum that I've just potted back and this is the what's left of the mama plant. Those two I still need to find appropriate pot and then we have the two bigger cuttings which are gorgeous. So now I have to go and clean this mess. There is soil everywhere. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and hit the notification button and I'll see you next time. Bye!